today we're gonna be doing a quick review of the eBay um, clutch and pressure plate combination that you can get for a K24DE in a Nissan 240SX. So the clutch and pressure plate combination I got is an XTD, whatever that means. I think it's supposed to sound like the Exidy brand, which is another well-known clutch maker. So this is the car that the um, clutch and pressure plate was in. So I put the clutch in there after I burnt out the clutch on that motor uh, about a year ago at my first drift event. So this is the actual clutch disc that I got. It's a six-pot clutch. Um, it's technically the Stage 3 from XTD. Uh, it's rated for about 300 and something horsepower. And I only had it on a stock KA with maybe 150 horsepower. That would be maybe lucky. Um, definitely lucky. There's no way it's making 150 horsepower anymore. Well, right now it makes zero horsepower because it like seized up. But this that's that. Um, six foot clutch. Uh, it's pretty good. It grabs really hard. Um, when it's cold, it's a little bit wonky. It's like hard to drive smooth. It's like <clears throat> when you start going, but it's fine. Um, once it warms up, it's fine. And then it is like it's kind of like more intense. You can tell like when you're letting your foot off the clutch, it's all at one point. Like it's not like a it's not like a very large gradient of you can be like a little clutch, a lot of clutch. There's not not that much slipping of the clutch when like you're coming on and off of it. It's pretty much just like on or off. There's a little bit, but it's like so small. But I mean, this thing's pretty much a race car for me, so it's fine. I don't really drive it on the street that much. Um, but on the street, it is fine. Like you just have to be used to it. It's not like driving a normal car. I'd say. It's a little bit more intensive. You gotta be paying attention a little bit more. Um, and it, this probably has about 60 or 70 miles of actual street driving on it. And that was fine. And it also has four hard drift events on it. Like four entire days of just drifting for an hour and then taking like a break. And then another drifting for an hour, but like waiting in line. Like it's hard wear on the clutch. Like drifting obviously is not easy on any part of the car. And of course, since this is such a low horsepower car, I'm clutch kicking a lot and it deals with that just fine. So the kit that I got comes with the clutch disc, comes with the pressure plate right here. It's red, of course, for more performance. Comes with a throwout bearing. I never actually ended up using it. I think it came with a pilot bushing as well. Didn't end up swapping that either, because I think the engine that I had gotten when I put this in, like the guy was like, yeah, I just changed out the clutch. And that's why I think I burnt the clutch out, because it was like brand new clutch. I was going like, mm, clutch kick hard. And I didn't know what I was doing, ended up screwing that up. And then also came with a clutch alignment tool, which is very important, so you can actually fit the transmission in after you get the clutch on the car, so everything's straight, even, and good to go. I've got like four hard drift events on this clutch, and maybe 60 or 70 miles of driving on the street, and I've had absolutely no problems with it at all. And I paid $80 for this, and when you think about that, for like, what else you can get for $80, clutch-wise, there's not much out there. I mean, you can get other eBay clutches, and that's pretty much what you're going to do. I think they might be a little bit more expensive now, maybe like $85, $90, $95. I haven't really looked. I got this like a year and a half ago. But like to get another stage three clutch, like a spec or an Exidy or anything else, you're going to be up two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500 just to get a clutch. And admittedly, that clutch, it will probably be the same, if not better. It will probably be better. You're paying more. There's a brand behind it. If there's something wrong with it, they're going to help you. It's going to come with a warranty. There's going to be support for it. And you'll probably have a better experience if you go buy like a nice clutch from a nice company, but like for out of the box, what you actually get when you spend the money, the eBay clutch is completely worth it. Like I have not had any issues with it. I'll of course let you guys know when I have an issue with it, if I have one. Um, but at this point, like I can't argue $80, two hours of work to get the transmission in and out by myself, put the new clutch in. And if you had a friend to do it with, you, you could do it in half that time. I was just like struggling, crushing myself with the transmission. I was trying to take it out. And I had no clue what I was doing when I was taking it. I was just like undoing bolts, like, oh, maybe I should undo this here, here, here. And getting it out was kind of the disaster, but we figured it out. So if you're considering buying the eBay clutch for your car, I would recommend it. Um, if it's a street car mostly and you drive it every day, I might be a little bit more weary of it. But like for a track car, I would completely recommend it any day. You're going to be happy with it. Admittedly, the quality control on these items probably isn't that good. And you might end up with a piece of garbage clutch. And then you might have to deal with that, but if you get a good one, I think I got a good one, it's lasted me this long. I'm going to put it on the next motor that I'm about to swap into this car, and I'm not concerned about switching the clutch at this point. And it doesn't look like there's that much wear on it either. But if it's a street car, I would still recommend it. Like, you can try it. I mean, it's so cheap, it's like, you have fun, you learn how to change your clutch if you haven't done it already, you get more practice of changing your clutch. If it turns out to be a piece of garbage in your case, 
buy the clutch you want, you're out $80 more, so instead of spending $300 on a clutch, you ended up spending $380. You have experience putting the clutch in, taking out the transmission, doing all that stuff. And I mean, odds are you're gonna end up with a good one, you're gonna be happy with it, which is all you can ask for for $80. This is a tougher clutch material since it's a stage three. It will cause more wear on the flywheel and other things inside the car because it's just such a harder compound compared to a normal OEM clutch. But again, this is a race car, that's not really one of my concerns. And I mean, it, you can also get like OEM replacement eBay clutches and those are a lot cheaper as well. So, I don't know, I think I'd be very curious to see what you guys have had experience with your clutches. So I know I've had good, a good experience with this one, I don't know if you've had good experience with some clutches, bad experience with some clutches. I'd be very interested to know. If you have any questions, of course, ask me in the description down below and I'll be happy to answer your questions if you're considering purchasing an eBay clutch for your car. I know the one I got was for a K24 DE and a 240SX, because that's the car that I have. It's, most of them are probably going to be the same materials making the clutch, it's going to be a slightly different shape for a different car. And that's pretty much going to do it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video, and here's a video of me doing a burnout in my garage with this car before the engine blew up on Snapchat.